I'll go now. <laughs> Careful, these hands can kill. <laughs> Revenge is mine. Be using that all night, along with this. Cool. I'm armed to the teeth. How is everybody? This is at, this is where, you might not know, this is where we actually start the show. It's, it's happening. You're, you're soaking in it. Sorry. Make sure you wash up after. Good. Thank you. <laughs> They'll help, they say. There's, there's a weird vibe in the room. I get it. There's a, and I find, it took me a little while to figure it out until earlier this afternoon. You see, uh, a year ago about this time, I, I got up on this stage and I said, I have an announcement to make, and I, and I gave everybody some really shocking news. The quick recap for the new people was, a year ago, roughly a couple days from now, uh, we ended up moving from our original venue to this massive, awesome, beautiful theater. And uh, I think everybody's been sort of, well, we knew we signed a one-year lease. What does that mean now? I'm, I'm like that. I'm happy to let you know, so we can put this feeling down and get on with the fun stuff, that we signed another year lease today. So, viva la shenanigan, we shall continue. In fact, the truth of the matter is, I didn't really think about this for a while, because I've had my, my head down in a couple of projects. We'll, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. I've had my head down in a couple of projects, things we've been working on behind the scenes. You may have heard little murmurs of, there's, there's something the circus freaks, the, the idiots who put this thing together, are up to, that are developing, that we're working on. And, and tonight, tonight I get to tell you about it, finally. So I'm gonna take one minute away and tell you about it. But I gotta let you know why I'm telling you here. It's not just because I get a camera and I get you guys to listen to me, which feels really good. I'm not gonna lie. It does. Just Johnny, okay. No, it's because we learned how to do it here. Three and a half years of doing open stage and things like this, we learned how to be pretty good performers. I mean, we were working on our skills, the juggling, the dancing, and the being stupid, and the improv. But here we learned how to put it all together. And that's how the Circus Freaks really got started. That's how we got to be who we are, was yeah! coming. Yeah! See, that is the response from a lot of improv rehearsal. That's, that's, actually, that's, that's actually really hard to do. See, watch, try it. Nothing, watch. See, that doesn't happen by accident. That's a lot of skill. Thank you, thank you. So, we learn how to do these things here. And this, is, this has been the greenhouse where we've built everything. And the Circus Freaks have gone from doing what we kind of do here, which is where we interject ourselves into other people's events. I mean, this is our event, but we interject ourselves in between our guest stars, the, the performers who come and join us for the evening. But we've never really gotten to tell our story. And now we're gonna get to. Uh, a while ago, we brought a new guy on board, his name was Scott Renkis, and he came to me with an idea. It was a pretty cool idea, and, and you've actually seen little pieces of it. Uh, but it was, it was the idea to, t to tell a story about how insane it is to work a normal job. I mean, I'm in the circus now, so I don't know what normal is like at all. But I know that there's, there's these people who have to punch a clock and then have to, have to sit there and watch it. That sucks. Who, let me hear a cheer if you feel that. That, that's hard. And we thought, we thought it would be an interesting story to kind of look at that world, but through our crazy circus eyes. And that's where we came up with the idea for our show. This January, the Circus Freaks are going to be performing our first narrative circus show. Instead of being a bunch of acts, we're going to actually produce an entire story. And the best part is we're we're building it out of here. Our texts are the texts from here. The performers are people you've met here. The composer for the score of the show is actually someone from here. You're, you're gonna hear more about this as we go on, but this is, this is our shot. And while it may be a subset of who we are, the success of this event is so crucial because we, we describe the Circus Freaks as an ethical for-profit, which means we'd like to make some money someday. That'd be cool. Yeah. But if, we, but if we do, we're gonna pay our people, because that's awesome, getting paid is cool, and then a portion of that income will go into keeping projects like this thriving. We signed another lease here. 
We want to make it better. We don't want to just be here for a year. We want to grow. We want to do new things. We want to create some other new projects. We want to tell stories. To do that, we've got to grow. And so every time any part of our little empire wins, we all win, which is why this is all of our victory. When I announce, well, this is, it's behind this. We'll get there. We'll get there. You guys want to see? You, do you want to see that? Okay. This, this is the first time anyone outside of the little core group of people who have been working on this thing for a couple of months have seen it. So this, this is it. This is where it starts. And what happens from here, but I'll show it to you in a second, I promise, I'm teasing. What happens from here, you're just really, really frustrated. I see that, okay. What happens from here is we do have to start building. Uh, the scripts are done, the, the, the physical tricks are done. We have to do all the detail work, the character work, all the stuff that makes us different than just a bunch of guys getting up here going, hi, we're gonna do tricks now. Did we have to build the story, we have to build the world. And we may need your help with that. So uh, let me get this out here and then I'll tell you about it, okay? Ow, ow, ow. Can, it can't just be you. But first, but first, I want to thank so many people who've been involved in this project, who've, who've come together to work on things and do things. I probably go into it. I'll show it to you. I think the important thing to remember in this. That's my thing. You can't throw a shoe. Don't. Okay. Okay. I'll show. I'll show you the show. Be gentle. It's new. It's our baby. We've been working on this, and, and it's time for you guys to. Say, are you ready? <laughs> it's all grown up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is almost five. Which is what all those people who clock in at the beginning of the day are waiting for. It's almost five and I get to be free and I get to get away. Now comes the big push. We will be launching this show in January of 2015. Between now and then, we're gonna be doing fundraising. We're gonna be doing set building, rehearsals, all the stuff's going on. We are gonna come back from time to time to do two things for you. One, we're gonna give you updates on how it's going because I figure you wanna know. And two, since this is our mad science lab, that means from time to time, we get to, uh, we get to show you what we're working on here. So you guys are gonna get the previews. You guys are gonna get the first taste of this thing that we're building. And ultimately, like I said, it's success goes back to you. So we're building it for you. So, so we're gonna do the show we came here to do, but I, I, I've been sitting on this for months and I just wanted a chance to tell you about it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for giving me the place that gave us what we needed to be able to build this thing. Welcome to the open stage.